Eye on Sun Valley's Athlete of the Week is brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Patrick Buchanan, Agent. Sun Valley Associates is the key to your home, a tradition of excellence since 1962. Put our team to work for you. 208-622-4100. SVAssociates.com. I'm Michael David with Ion Sun Valley Sports, and I'm pleased to be joined by our Athlete of the Week, Julia Larson, musher extraordinaire and Wood River High School senior. Julia, congratulations and thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Um, you were jo uh, chosen as our Athlete of the Week based on your impressive performance in the, make sure I can get this right, the 2017 Pedigree Stage Stop Yukonuba Eight Dog Classic in January. Yeah. Um, great job. Tell us a little bit about the ceremonial start and the races. Um, so the ceremonial start started in Jackson Hole um, and it was about a three mile um, ceremonial start. So it started downtown Jackson and went all the way to Snow King Resort. Oh great. Um, thousands of people lined the streets. It Wonderful. was awesome. It was really cool. So it started at 6.30. So it was at night. Um, so there's a bunch of lights. They had a big like jumbo screen behind us. And then they started us um, two at a time, so mm -hmm. they had like a shoot. So they'd put me here and then another person, they'd say go, or like count us down and then we'd go and right. kind of like a drag race. It was, so, it was so much fun. That's great. And you said you had a junior mus musher with yeah. you? So I have my junior musher. She's um, 11, almost 12. And um, she's from Green River. Um, and so she got to write an essay and like go through some selective um, process and then do like 10 hours of community service and so she got to be to ride in my sled for oh, the ceremonial that's start. that's so great. great. So, yeah. And then you, there's a little bit of time and, you, and the actual race takes place. Tell us about that. Yeah so after Snow King um, we drove to um, Driggs, Idaho mm -hmm. and then so we got there about midnight and then got up again at six and then drove to our next um, location or just a little ways out of Driggs. Yeah. Um, and started the drag stage. That's great, so. and that, and and that's the stage that there's a lot of climbing, right? Tell yep. it, yeah. Yeah. There's over um, 5,000 vertical feet, wow. so there's a lot of running. Um, and then in like the, my style of racing, we're going that drags was 32 miles, mm. and so every mile an hour counts. And so sure. if I'm averaging 13 or 12 miles an hour, say going up those hills, but then my opponent's going 13 miles an hour, right. there's that little you know that gap of a mile an hour really determines who's going to win, like that will be right. 10 miles accumulative, or 10 Sh minutes. Sure, sure, so, so you're calculating that as you're racing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so I'm calculating that and going, okay, I need to be going up a little faster. And so, especially with those climbing, or with those climbs, I'm off my sled, I'm pushing the sled, I'm running, um, I'm pedaling, so kind of just one foot off the sled, and right. um, helping the dogs push them up, because that's gonna further my time. So how long does it take to do that 32 miles with 5,000 feet? So I did it in two hours and 46 minutes. Wow. So that was pretty impressive. I, um, I took fourth that day out of 11, Great. Um, both men and women, and I was the youngest competitor out of the whole race. And then so. there's another leg of the race after uh -huh. that? So then after that, we um, drove into town and Driggs, and I had like a meet and greet. Right. So with the town, people came. And then we drove to Alpine, and then right when we got to Alpine, I had a mushers dinner and a like um, meeting for the next day. Um, kind of did all that, and by that time I was com exhausted. <laughs> <I bet. laughs> but um, it was fun. And then went to bed, and then got up at six again, and did it, and had an Alpine stage. And the Alpine stage was more flat uh, compared yeah. to the first stage. It was a little more rolly, um, a couple of climbs, but not like drags at right, all. Right. Um, just along a river, it was beautiful. Well, that's so, so great uh, yeah. representing the Wood River Valley in that competition. G congratulations! Thank you. Dog sled racing is definitely not a common sport. How did you get started? Um, so when I was four, we moved to the Wood River Valley, um, and. We moved on a ranch and there was a bunch of kennels, like um, ranch dog kennels. Mm -hmm. And um, my dad went back there and we kind of were all looking. He goes, oh, it'd be so cool to have a dog sled team. And <laughs> he's kind of joking. Right. And um, we had a Malmead at the time. Um, and my mom was just like, yeah, you're crazy. <laughs> but um, so they started like a couple years before I was born. Um, my dad w did ski during, so mm -hmm. he would cross country ski with a dog in front of him. Right. Um, and so he continued that when we lived out on the ranch. and so. Um, when I was five, I was like, Dad, I want to get hooked up. And so he hooked me up to my downhill skis and a tow rope and to our Malmute dog. And it wasn't going super fast at right. all. But so, and I got back from that run, just did a little mile loop. And I was like, Dad, I want my own dog. I want my own dog. I want to do this. And so he saw an ad in the paper for like a retired sled dog. Um, so we drove to Logan, Utah. Yep. 
um, where I met my like biggest mentors in mushing now today. Oh, good. Cool. Um, so we went to go buy one dog, and we came home with three dogs. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. And then so we had one dog for the family, and then it was just too much for um, like just we wouldn't go out as much, and so we dad was like, well, maybe we should buy a sled, and that way we can exercise the dogs more and keep them healthy. Right. And, um, and that was your start into into the sport. And now we've grown and have. 13 dogs and um, yeah. that's great and I think to, to a lot of us on the surface it seems like an individual sport between mushers mm -hmm. but it's truly a team sport tell us a little bit about your team of your your your, your four-legged team yeah um, well my four-legged team they're all my best friends they're um, we train together we I mean we're there together every single day um, and so we have, I think, a relationship that most people wouldn't think that we have, um, just because some people are like, oh, they're work dogs, or they're, you know, that, but we're, we work, we play, we have fun, in the summertime we run out in the fields together, um, and then just being a part of the team, my goal is, if I'm running eight dogs on a team, my goal is to be the ninth dog. I'm trying to, like, even pedaling or running, right. I have to sink in with their rhythm, because if I don't, it'll throw them off. Fascinating. So it's all just working together. That's so, so. great. Well, yeah. well uh, <laughs> congratulations, that's such an accomplishment. Aside from all the training and traveling and preparation for dog sled racing, you're involved in a lot of extracurricular activities and service. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, well, my main role, I guess, in the school, I'm a student body vice president. Right. And so that really incorporates, um, we do a lot of service trips and um, try to get out in the community a lot. Sure. Um, and so we really, like, we go with the Hunger Coalition, um, the Animal Shelter, um, St. Luke's, we are partners and try to raise a bunch of money for them. Um, so that's kind of my main thing. Training is really hard and to kind of try to be everything and go out in the community is hard, but right. I try to do as much as I can. Wow. Um, so yeah, well, training. thank you for doing that for yeah, the community thank and you. thank you for taking the time to be with us. Um, our Athlete of the Week has been Julia Larson, Wood River Valley <laughs> senior, homecoming queen, <laughs> musher, and everything else. Thank you very much again for being with us. I want to thank our sponsors, Patrick Buchanan with State Farm Insurance, Sun Valley Associates, a tradition of excellence since 1962. I'm Michael David with Ion Sun Valley Sports, keeping my eye on Wood River Valley Sports and Wood River Valley Mushers <laughs> for you. Ion Sun Valley, daily local news from beautiful Sun Valley, Idaho.